One of my goal this year is to reach 25,000 YouTube subscribers. Help me with that and hit that subscribe button right now. Hey guys, how are you all? I'm Lavanya Jayakumar here from lavanyajayakumar.com. Today, I'm going to share my favorite psychology books with you guys. Let's get started. The first book in this list is Switch by Chip and Dan Heap. Uh, they are brothers. They are amazing in the uh, you know science writing part. I have read a couple of books by Chip and Dan Heap. This book, Switch, is all about how you can switch your bad habits into good habits. How you can convert your weaknesses uh, into strengths, you know. This book taught me a great concept that is called identifying bright spots and betting all your energy in improvising that bright spots. If you want to learn a lot about how to change your behaviors, how to convert your bad behaviors into good ones, you should definitely read this book. I loved it. The second book in our list is Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. Uh, Thinking Fast and Slow is an expert book from this uh, Nobel Prize winner. Uh, Daniel Kahneman is a Nobel Prize winner in economics. Okay, So he talks about uh, thinking fast and slow. We have two types of thinking wherein we do the gut level thinking. You know, Something uh, happens in, in our inner psyche and we call it as intuition or we call it as gut feeling. It is thinking fast. And we also engage in a uh, thinking process that is thinking slow. We keep uh, going after, you know, data after data and we struggle to make a decision, right? Uh, whenever you have to make an important decision in your life, you either take it immediately uh, to love a person or to get engaged with a person or you keep thinking about it and you never fall in love with a person or you never get married. So we have two types of uh, behaviors, uh, two types of attitudes, even in our thinking. Uh, he uh, this book talks more about how we think intuitively and what are the pro, uh, positives and negatives in our, uh, you know, gut feel or intuitive thinking, and what are the positives and negatives in our slow decision making process, slow thinking uh, process. If you want to learn a, a more about how to make better decisions how to uh, you know overcome your cognitive biases you definitely have to read this book this is an amazing book called think thinking fast and slow by daniel kahneman uh, if you get a chance to uh, read this book read it very slowly you cannot read this book in one go uh, you you can learn a lot about you know how experts come with the um, you know many different concepts and data and they never come into place like you know nobody um, uh, you know, uh, predicted the uh, 2008 financial crunch or no one predicted the tsunami, right? So these are the uh, happenings that happen suddenly and wh why the experts didn't warn us because experts are just like the, uh, you know, regular people. They are having good knowledge in a particular field, but still they have certain cognitive biases. So how you can overcome your uh, cognitive biases in your work field, in your studies or in your life. If you want to learn about, learn more about how your brain functions, you should definitely read this book. The third book in our list is 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Uh, I did a, a top five self-development book uh, video in which I already talked about a book called Mastery by Robert Greene. This book is uh, uh, from the same author, Robert Greene. Uh, this book talks a lot about manipulation. Uh, if you think manipulation is bad, I don't think you understand business or politics or even your life. You have to use certain manipulative techniques, uh, uh, you know, when you are selling something or when you are engaging in uh, your dreams, right? When you have a very big dream to attain something, you have to sometimes conceal your intentions. Sometimes you should not go, go overboard than your mentor or your boss. These kind of simple tricks is, uh, can be learned from this book. Uh, this book, this author don't give you just the concepts. He gives you an example from uh, old anecdotes and old, uh, you know, stories, how something happened in the past and how you can use that in your current life. 
this is an amazing book it is a huge book but it is kind of a story like uh, uh, you know pattern with loads and loads of data research uh, this book is a knowledge bank you have to buy this book and you have to keep it in your library if you are going to read just one book this year uh, in in the genre of business management or leadership let that book be 48 laws of power the fourth book in our today's list is free economics it's super popular uh, with the us market it uh, it was like a wildfire when this book came out each and every book lover read it as far as i know you know in in the business circle uh, this book was very famous uh, especially with the psychologist crowd this book was uh, you know super popular in the book clubs i love this book this book can teach you loads and loads about economic statistics and how uh, you know you can interpret statistics in an amazing mind blowing way i was never been a fan of economics or statistics but reading this book taught me so much and i actually fall in love with the way they used stats in this book if you want to know whether you can be a better parent uh, or if you want to know how uh, you know your name influences how you uh, how well you do in your life this book in is awesome to read i loved it totally i got tons of insights from this book i would definitely recommend this book to anyone who is looking out to read a good psychology book that doesn't you know make you feel like you know you are reading a textbook kind of stuff the all the books i'm re uh, uh, recommending right now or suggesting right now are uh, very easy to read in in the sense like you know it's kind of a storytelling pattern so it was easy to read uh, for me whatever i enjoyed i'm suggesting to you guys so definitely read free economics i totally love that book the fifth book in our list is drive by daniel h pink daniel h pink has written so many books in the uh, psychology genre this book drive is super awesome when it comes to uh, learning how to motivate yourself as well as others uh in the previous century the carrot and stick approach was very common a management style to get work done from the uh, employees what do they do is they uh, tie their performance uh, to the performance incentive you do a certain number of uh, achievement in your business you get this much right uh, the carrot and stick approach doesn't work anymore because we are going towards a very a big paradigm shift where we are engaging in a workforce of you know uh, next generation kids who are you know uh, past millennials who born with gadgets who live with gadgets we are actually dealing with a different kind of uh, youngsters these days to manage them you cannot give them the carrot and stick approach it bores them you have to engage in a very different management style if you want to motivate your employees or if you want to motivate the other students who are studying with you if you are a teacher who wants to motivate your students you know or if you want to motivate your kids at home you have to learn how to motivate them and how do you motivate them is what daniel h pink is teaching you guys you have to give them a purpose you have to make it, make them a master in something uh, creative and you have to give them the freedom to get the work done uh, from themselves you have to give them uh, the uh, freedom to create and the uh, uh, freedom to learn new stuff and you have to give them a big purpose these days you could uh, know uh, people are large corporates talk about you know uh, sharing the vision with the employees most of the leading corporate um, ceos and entrepreneurs share their uh, wisdom for whatever they have in uh, mind for the company with each and every every employee who contributes to the business growth right so this uh, is the work of daniel h pink he taught us so much about how to motivate the next generation of uh, youngsters who are uh, are added up in the work pro workforce uh, year on year if you want to learn uh, about how to motivate an employee how to motivate your team how to motivate uh, your kids at home how to motivate your fellow students being a leader uh, at school or college you have to read this book this is an amazing book that taught me so much about 
how to uh, motivate people how to motivate my team how to motivate the people i have at my home this is a definite read i love this book so these are my top 5 psychology books for today if you like this video please give a thumbs up if you like it so much please share it with a friend it would mean so much to me and don't forget to subscribe and comment i look forward to meeting you guys with another video thank you